life really is fragile. It really is. And seriously, treat every day like it's your last day because you never know. Like you never know. Hi guys, it's Amanda with Eat, Pray, Crunch, and I wanted to apologize that I haven't been on YouTube for about a week. I had intended to put up my Whole30 update and everything, my final one, last Friday, but we had some unforeseen circumstances come up on Friday, and just kind of everything on life kind of went on hold for the entire weekend. I hate to put up two kind of sad videos up in a row. The last one I put up was about our whole miscarriage story, and had I known what our current circumstances would be, I probably wouldn't have chosen to put that video up last week, but I did, so we're gonna have two sad videos in a row, so sorry about that. That's just kind of how the circumstances have played out. So what happened on Friday was that I was going to have a girls get together with one of my dear friends. This is a friend that um, she and her husband had been in a small group in our church together um, before even Bill and I got married. They, they weren't married yet either. We were all unmarried couples that were in this small group together that Bill and I led. Us and a couple of other couples, we all got to know each other really, really well and we kind of navigated the whole going from single life to married life thing in this small group. We were all kind of there for each other and that support and just like walking through that transition together because um, we all got married within those few years we were in that small group. Ever since then, even though since Bill and I have had kids, the frequency of our get-togethers are not nearly as frequent as they used to be, um, but I would still have girls nights with my friend. It's something that we do, you know, maybe a few times a year now, um, rather than like every other week like we used to do. Bill would have guys nights with her husband and some of the other guys in the group. So it was just a great little community that we had going and we all became very close during that time. So that's just kind of the backstory of how I know these friends. So I was going to have a girls night with this friend on Friday night and we hadn't done one in a I mean, I don't know, even six months, it had been a long time, and we were going to get together with one of my other friends as well. You know, Bill was gonna watch the kids that evening, and I was heading out the door and I got this voicemail from her, and it's, at this point in my life, it's the most shocking voicemail I have ever heard. She basically said that she got home from work and her husband had passed away. We were all just shocked, we were all shocked. <laughs> um, totally unexpected, you know, I ended up calling her back immediately obviously she had you know just gotten home from work like an hour or two prior and found him and uh, I was on the phone with her the paramedics were there um, her husband's family was arriving when I was talking to her on the phone and it was it was a shocking shocking and kind of traumatic situation obviously um, me and Bill were very close with her and her husband, and Bill was shocked as well. Um, Bill was actually the best man for him in their wedding. That's what happened. So all of a sudden, just like everything else in life, just kind of like, you know, just kind of faded away, like in that moment. Like, it just, it was surreal. Like, all of a sudden we're in this like shock mode and grieving mode. It, nobody even saw this coming. We don't even know what happened. Whatever it was took him really fast you know, probably heart attack or something like that. It's just so tragic um, and just totally, totally shocking news. I'm not going to say names just for the sake of her privacy. So this weekend we have all just been grieving and supporting my friend as best we can. So I guess I just wanted to make a video of A, why I haven't been on YouTube the last week and B, why my videos might be a little bit more sparse the next couple weeks as we kind of navigate through this whole grieving process and supporting my friend. It's kind of been a real reality check. We know intellectually that nobody is immune, like anything could happen to any one of us any day, like we just never know when our last day is, which is true, it's like you know that in your head, but then when it happens to somebody that's closer to your age, unexpectedly, for unexplained reasons, like it's just a reality check, a real reality check. Nothing in this life is certain, nothing is permanent. Like, our lives are so fragile. They are so fragile. It's really true that you just, just 
never know when your last day is going to be. It has just totally shifted bills in my perception of life all of a sudden. And it's just kind of made us examine our priorities and what we really want to be putting all of our energies into. First and foremost, our relationships. Just realizing that in the, in the daily grind of life and work and you know the routine of kids and you're just in the trenches a lot of the time, you're just kind of getting by, you know, and that's that's kind of how it is in this season in life, but at the same time, like it's making us really realize that we just can't keep going through life like that. Like we have to really be conscious and intentional with the choices that we're making and the relationships that we're pursuing and really putting in especially the effort to nurture our relationships. Not that it was, you know, terrible before, but just like really wanting to be conscious and really intentional about it because we're just having this realization we never know when the last day is going to be. We're really hugging our kids close and just really being intentional with each other and our time together. I guess it's kind of normal to have that kind of effect when tragedy strikes. It just really makes you re-examine your priorities. There's nothing that is more motivating than that. So if there's any silver lining that's coming out of this, it would be that. So we are just kind of in the process of working through that grief now. You know, we've lost grandparents before. I'll link up those videos here um, that I made about my grandpa. And that was definitely a grieving process as well because I was close with my grandpa. I love my grandpa. I've lost, you know, all four of my grandparents now. Um, I lost an uncle unexpectedly a few years back. He had a heart attack unexpectedly in his 60s. But Bill and I have neither had somebody from our generation that we know personally just be gone unexpectedly. That's never happened to either of us before. And we know, we know we're not the first ones who have ever experienced something like that. Before you experience it, you definitely have a sense of empathy for, for people, but then when it actually happens to somebody you know personally, somebody you love and care about, all of a sudden you, you really get it. Like you really get it. It's kind of life-changing. Um, it just totally shifts your perspective and your priorities. So that's where we're at with that. I don't mean to have two kind of sad videos in a row, but that's just kind of how it played out. But that's what's been going on. Definitely would appreciate prayers for my friend who just lost her husband. She needs them more than ever. You know, she's basically experiencing one of my worst nightmares. That's probably one of my biggest fears is having something like that happen. I just, I can't even imagine. Bill and I have just been really struggling to make sense of it all and, you know, asking all the questions that one would ask when this kind of thing happens, like why is God allowing things like this to happen? Um, I mean, you question, you know, all the horrible things of the world all the time, but it's easier to be kind of disconnected from the things that are in the news, you know. Um, but when it's somebody you know and love personally, it's just kind of shocking and jarring and it, it makes you question a little bit. I don't think our faith is completely shaken. Whenever hard, really hard things happen in life, it always amazes me how when I start to have that doubt about God that all of a sudden God shows up loud and clear and like works through it in ways that I would have never expected. I really don't think that God necessarily causes these things to happen. The physical world is just kind of an impersonal, um, indifferent place and natural processes happen. And because of that, it ends up being a really cruel place a lot of the time. And I don't think that means that God isn't there. Bill and I have talked a lot about how we struggle with wondering how much does God actually intervene. We don't believe that God makes every single move happen. We have agency, we have free will, we have choices, we make decisions. I do think that God does step in and, and you know, heal people sometimes, physically even, um, but not always, not always. And I just don't have answers for why or, you know, why God does sometimes but not others. I don't, I just don't know. But one thing that has been continuously my experience in difficult situations is that the moment I start having major doubt, all of a sudden God shows up just loud and clear. Like I can feel God's presence even when I hadn't in a while. 
God creates these spiritual changes in us. God does change our inner world. And I can really see that happening right now. I can see it happening in Bill, um, especially because he was so close with our friend that we just lost. So, you know, there's always that. I think God does take horrible circumstances and even if he's not causing them, he uses them for good. So like I said, we definitely appreciate your prayers and especially for our friend who just lost her husband and his family as well. They need prayers more than anybody else in this situation because it, it's a hard, it's a tough, horrible situation. So all of this is just to give you guys an update and just ask for prayer and just to remind you that, you know, life really is fragile. It really is. It's so cliche, but like seriously, treat every day like it's your last day because you never know. You never know the last time that you're going to hug your spouse and children. Like, do it. Love, love people. Just love people and be intentional about your life because it's just too short to waste away. Thank you guys so much for watching and my videos from this point on will probably be a little more positive. After I film this, I actually will film my Whole30 update as well to let you guys know what's going on with that now that I have finished it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.